Good evening. My name is Heidi Johnson, and I am here on behalf of the library to share with you the beauty and accessibility that has been added to our library thanks to the generous donations of the estate of Elaine Alexander Adams, represented by Lois Alexander. Elaine graduated from the college in 1936. Within a year, she was teaching grade school in Ironwood, Michigan, and within another year, she was already giving back to the college by donating money for the creation of the Our Lady Queen of Peace window in what was then the chapel and is now the library. Teaching and philanthropy would be her loves and occupations for the rest of her life. Upon her death, a charitable fund was set up to continue Elaine's work. Elaine also had a younger sister, Barbara Ann, who graduated from the college in 1955 and went on to a career as a medical librarian. After Barbara Ann's death, Elaine's charitable fund honored her sister by starting the Barbara Ann Alexander Endowed Scholarship for pre-library students. Here's a brochure. <laughs> to provide financial support and career guidance for CSS students interested in becoming professional librarians. Here is a photo that you can see on the computer screens in front of you of two of our current pre-library students at our circulation desk. I just took that last week. Elaine's generosity to the library has continued with two recent projects that have allowed the library to focus on its physical space. First, the North Reading Room, which used to be the Marion Chapel, was renovated with new computer-friendly tables, chairs, and soft seating. Here are before and after photos of this space. An electric fireplace was added to the west wall. We actually had some fun with this. <laughs> with custom-made oak and tile designed to mimic the historic 1909 fireplaces in Tower Hall. But the room is more than just a cozy place to study, exuding hospitality, as it also serves as an event space, hosting poetry readings, scholar talks, music recitals, art shows, all fostering our Benedictine values of community and love of learning. The second donation allowed the library to replace its original 1986 circulation desk, much the worse for wear after 37 years. Barbara Ann lived life with significant physical challenges due to infectious arthritis she suffered from since childhood. And there you see a photo of her from her yearbook. To honor her accomplishments at CSS, she was chosen as the college ideal recipient for honesty as a senior. She is quoted in a newspaper article published at the time as saying, quote, it's a very high honor and I'm overwhelmed, but I don't feel that I deserve this because I've sometimes said things that weren't completely true. <laughs> the article goes on to say that amid laughter, her friends explained that they are referring to her honest attitude. So it was with great honor that the new circulation desk was designed to be ADA accessible with varying countertop heights allowing for sitting or standing while working as well as the countertop extending in the front and a workstation to the side, accommodating a wheelchair. We also were able to add a custom-made new book display. In conclusion, the Alexander family have been faithful and generous supporters of our college and especially the library, and these donations will have a lasting impact on our pre-library students and all our visitors for years to come. What a beautiful sign of stewardship. Thank you. Thank you.